Right, so here we are. We've got Dwayne and Mitch from American IPA at Red Ale. How's it going, mate? Hey, it's going well. Yeah, it's uh, fairly uh, ripping through the bottle, so it's good. Nice. So a good bit of feedback? Yeah, so far. Yeah, everyone's been really positive, so which is good. Mate, they're lying to your face out of the tables. Everyone's like, that's a shit beer. No. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. <laughs> How are you going, mate? Carry out the chair, but you're feeling stressed at all with that on your shoulders? Or? Nah, all beer's good, so here we are. Oh, nice, yeah. Tastes pretty good, man. I did have one. I have started having a few beers. Um, and I'm only not to you next, so don't worry. You're going to have to pour me one. Do you reckon that going with a different style this time has served you better or would you have done another lager again to try and beat this crowd? Oh, I don't really know. I guess if it's a good beer, it's a good beer. Yeah. Very diplomatic there, isn't he? So, yeah, we'll see how he goes towards the end. The voting is almost finished. We've got about 15 minutes to go. So. All right, so we're trying to get in and talk to the brewers and they're all really busy, which, which is a good thing. Um, but... Hey man, I'm gonna I'm gonna butt in. How how's your beers? My beers are fantastic. Yeah, are they going all right? You enjoying it? Oh, I am having an absolute blast. Excellent. Thank you so much. Glenno, come on mate, you got a spot here, number one. How you going, mate? Are you happy with your beer? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> you can't drink the can, mate. You can't drink the can. Yeah. Had, had great feedback off everyone. Yep. Always a good day, mate. Well, we've been out talking to all the tables and. Your name's been mentioned a lot, but not in the worst same sentence as great feedback. I don't know well, if... Uh, well, I don't know who you're talking to, mate. I was talking to your table, mate. They're all wearing your shirts. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know, mate. Like, <laughs> this is, is Glenno when he's speechless. It's hard being a rock star, you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just want to get in there, and I want to talk to Aaron, but uh, Aaron, can I borrow you for 30 seconds, mate? So Aaron's brewed a Doppelbock. How's your beer going, mate? Yeah, good, good. Getting through them all at the moment. I think getting good positive feedback on it, so I'm pretty surprised, but yeah. It's good stuff. All, the, all the brewers are saying they're getting positive feedback, so obviously everyone out here is either lying through their teeth um, or they actually do like all the beers, but they haven't keeping their cards to their chest and not saying who they're voting for. So real keen to see what the results are. Uh, stay tuned, about 15 minutes. So, we're going to start with people's choice. Who wants to guess? No, you've already guessed and you voted. Don't worry about it. Um, so, it's number eight. I appreciate Helios doing this as well. It's uh, it's a really good day. I suppose I appreciate it as well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank you. I wanted to thank everybody. Uh, just like last time, the caliber of the beers was really, really high um, across the board, and um, it's really hard judging when you're looking at essentially seven or eight different styles and they're all really good caliber beers in that style. That's why we ended up with a, a, a tasting side by side of the, the finals, but they, they were all very, very good. I want to give two shout outs though um, for special mention. Uh, it, was, it was very, very close. Uh, the American IPA. That was by Mitch. Mitch, yeah. Um, I'm from California, and, and when Aussies say we're going to do a, an American IPA, I kind of cringe. Um, but man, it was it was really damn good. The other one that um, was really good and is such a hard style is the farmhouse. That that is. I will tell you that um, it seems like a, a simple beer and a wild beer and it has a lot going on in it. Um, but I challenge you to try and make one that, that comes out that's uh, actually quite palatable. And that one was damn good. And I, I certainly recognize it as a style that is super difficult to make. Um, 
but there was one beer that all three of us put in our top two, and that was the Doppelbach. Yeah. Well done, man. I try to keep it as close to like a German proper Doppelbach was supposed to be and, and, and real to actual regulations. I did a lot of research on it before I brewed it and what, what I wanted, wanted from it. Honestly, um, I was actually short on the grain bill, to tell you the truth, by about a kilo of grain. And I made it up with a uh, half a kilo of malt, uh, um, Munich malt, light malt that I had. And I was still a little bit light, and I was a bit unsure about the whole beer along the whole process. I just wasn't. But I, I persevered with it, and I tried with it, and I, I, I did a lot of um, testing and making sure it was along, along the way to make sure it was good. And in the end product, I think I was pretty happy with it. I would like to have been a, like an 8% beer, but it was a 7% beer, it's still in within range. But, you know, I, I really took a lot of care of it to, to make it come through. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.